What is meant by a sequence? A sequence is a set of numbers that are in some kind of order. Let's consider this set of numbers, all the odd numbers from 1 through 13. The three dots at the end of the listed numbers mean that this sequence can go on forever. The next numbers would be 15, 17, 19, and just keep on going until infinity. Each individual item that makes up a sequence is called a term. The first number in the sequence is called the first term. The second number written is called the second term. The third number written is called the third term. And so on like this. Terms in a sequence are usually symbolized by a lowercase a. The first term is called a1. We can say that in this particular sequence, term a1 is equal to the number 1. The second term is called a2, so we can say that in this sequence, a2 is equal to the number 3. The third term is called a3, so in this sequence, a3 is equal to the number 5. We can represent a general term by the letter n. For example, if n is equal to 5, the fifth term is called the nth term, designated by the letter a with the subscript n. And we can say that in this case, that when n is equal to 5, the nth term is the number 9. And if n is equal to 2, the second term is called the nth term, designated by the letter a with the subscript n. So if n equals 2, the nth term in this sequence is the number 3. So we can make the letter a with the subscript n stand for any term we want. That's why a n is called the general term. So let's say n is equal to 8. Then what number is a n equal to? If n is equal to 8, then the term a n is equal to the 8th term, which follows the 7th term. And the number would be the odd number after 13, which is 15. There are different kinds of sequences. Here we'll talk about a particular type of sequence called an arithmetic sequence. An arithmetic sequence goes from one term to the next by always adding the same value. Let's have a look at this sequence, 8, 12, 16, 20, etc. In this sequence, the first term, a1, is equal to 8. You can see that in this sequence, we add 4 to each term to get the next term. So the common difference is equal to 4. When we write 4, we mean positive 4. The common difference in a sequence is denoted by the lowercase letter d. So in this example, we can say that the common difference d is equal to 4. Remember, an arithmetic sequence goes from one term to the next by always adding the same value. This value can either be positive or negative. Let's have a look at this sequence, where the first term, a1, is equal to 7. Notice that to go from the first term, which is 7, to the second term, which is 4, we have to add negative 3. 7 plus negative 3 is equal to 4. Going from term 2, which is 4, to term 3, which is 1, we also have to add negative 3. Similarly, adding negative 3 to 1 gives us negative 2, the value for term 4. And looking at the rest of the numbers, we can see that adding negative 3 to each number will give the next one. So the common difference in this sequence is negative 3. So we can state that d equals negative 3. Here's another sequence. Negative 12, negative 3, positive 6, positive 15, positive 24, etc. Let's say we're asked to find the value for the common difference d in this sequence. The common difference can be calculated by subtracting two successive terms. Here we see that the term a2 equals negative 3, and the term a1 is equal to negative 12. So we can get the common difference by subtracting the value of term 1 from the value of term 2, which is negative 3 
minus negative 12. Negative 3 minus negative 12 is the same as negative 3 plus 12, which is equal to positive 9, or 9. If we check, we can see that adding 9 to each number gives the next number. For example, negative 3 plus 9 is equal to 6. 6 plus 9 is equal to 15. 15 plus 9 is equal to 24, and so on. So the common difference in this sequence is 9. We can state that d is equal to 9. Here's another sequence. Pause the video and see if you can find the common difference d for this sequence. Then resume the video and check your answer. We see that term a2 is equal to 12, and term a1 is equal to 19. To find d, we subtract the first term from the second term which is 12 minus 19, which comes out to negative 7. Looking at all the numbers, we can check that by adding negative 7 to each term, we get the value for the next term. For example, 12 plus negative 7 equals 5. 5 plus negative 7 equals negative 2. Negative 2 plus negative 7 equals negative 9 and so on. So the common difference in this sequence is negative 7, and we can state that d is equal to negative 7. To review, an arithmetic sequence is a set of numbers that form a pattern which goes from one term to the next by always adding the same value. The terms in a sequence are denoted by a lowercase a, where a1 is the first term, a2 is the second term, etc. And the number that we add to each term to get the next term is called the common difference, which is denoted by the letter D. As you move ahead in the topic of sequences, you will discover a simple equation that relates all the terms we've learned so far.